Hello YouTube, uh, just a, a very different video to what I normally do um, about coffee. Um, I've become quite a big coffee fan and um, I've tried the Kefita style one with the filter in the top. But I find it doesn't make mm, that good a coffee. So um, I borrowed one of these, which is a uh, Philips Senso and it takes uh, pods and there's an old pod in there. And uh, they're a bit like tea bags, and it does produce a good coffee. It smells really good. And these little tea bag type things, but they're expensive. It's like three pound for eighteen. Um, but um, I've just borrowed uh, this, which is a coffee bean roaster, where you can buy um, green beans such as these. These are mocha arabica green beans, and the case inside. If I can get it out one-handed, takes 300 grams, and you set it to roast at a certain temperature. Keep an eye on it, and uh, you get fresh beans. So I've measured out 300 grams, all ready for um, roasting. Um, got some more down here. Uh, El Salvador Alliance kilo. More mocha, fair trade Costa Rica green beans, and uh, Brazilian green beans. So um, I'm gonna uh, run this up the shed, uh, fill it up, and um, we'll switch it on together, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, roast some beans, <laughs> I guess. Um, I'll be back shortly. Right, so I've got the coffee machine set up in the shed, um, mainly because it smells quite horrid, I've been told. So um, I've no idea how this works, and I had a, I did have a quick look uh, on the instructions online, but they were mostly French. <clears throat> so this uh, £300 piece of kit is meant to um, turn out some good quality uh, roasted coffee beans. So um, I'm going to turn it on, and I think I've got a rough idea. Um, actually, I might lift you up a little bit more. Stand you up there. Uh, on. We'll set it on 250, leave it on 250, and we'll set this for 15 minutes. Oh, 15 is the minimum time, so that seems good to me. Um, so let's hit the start button and uh, let's put this panel back down. It is fairly warm. Uh, the only thing I think I'm not going to be able to do is film the whole time because the camera battery is a bit iffy. Uh, see that temperature is rising. 56, 58, 59, 60. Wait till it gets 70. So we've reached 70 degrees and it is fairly warm. I hate these camera tripods. So I'm just going to put it back there for a minute. Let's see how warm it is over here. It's time to get warm. It smells funny. It does certainly smell funny. I'm just uh, grateful that it's quite a quiet machine. So I'm just going to leave this on for a little bit longer. And then we'll come back and see some changes in a little bit. Well, we've just reached the five minute mark. Uh, temperature is 170 degrees Celsius. Uh, I'm not noticing any any change in the color of the beans, but I am noticing there's some husk starting to float out the end where my hand is here. There's a hole and there's some dry husk just floating out the end of it. I've no idea what that's about. Uh, but I'm gonna let it run for five minutes and I'll be back. Right, we've just hit five minutes, and I am starting to notice, notice a colour change in the beans. Um, they went kind of lighter first, and now they're starting to pick up some colour as they as they roast longer. Uh, it still isn't up to temperature. It's at 200, <coughs> 204 degrees out of 
220 because I uh, lowered the temperature down. Um, lots of husks still flying out of the um, out of the machine inside. I can see all that. A little bit shooting out. Um, so I'm going to let this run to the end of the five minutes. Um, end of the 15 minutes even and uh, see what we end up with uh, if not I will put this on for longer we've just reached the end of the five minutes and it's just on, gone on to a cooling cycle uh, but we don't want that so we're gonna oh no crap <laughs> there we go I don't know what I did, but I managed to get it going. Oh, come on. Oh well, that wasn't that successful, was it? I've got to, I've got to turn it back on. Hopefully, it hasn't got any electronic gubbins in. Oh, there we go. We, we, we'll give it another 20 minutes. Ooh. I do tell you, I will say it does smell quite bad, um, coffee-wise. <laughs> But it's definitely making some progress. Uh, let's see if we can get a, um, a closer shot of these for you. They are definitely starting to turn coffee brown. I'll be back in five minutes. Right, we're we're uh, not quite at the 20 minute mark, and they're starting to crack uh, a bit like popcorn. Uh, from what I've read, this is first crack. This is when it first becomes a drinkable coffee. Uh, and then it will proceed to get darker and darker. Um, until you hear a second crack. And that's when you get into dark roast territory. Uh, so I think uh, we are definitely on the right, right track here. And uh, I can also see the white bits of husk within the... Uh, within the um, coffee bean themselves on the back are starting to get more pronounced. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. So we're back at 20. We're well, alright, we are now at 20 minutes. Um, there is some visible smoke coming out of the machine. <laughs> I don't know whether that's meant to happen or not. Although it is missing its box off the end. Uh, to contain all that. Uh, coffee beans are definitely more noticeably uh, black or, or dark brown. I'll give you a zoom shot. And the cracks are more prominent now, more pronounced. Uh, and I think I might have to open the, the doors to this place in a, in a little bit <laughs> before I smoke myself out. <laughs> so uh, I'll be back at 25 minutes and um, and might well be it I think right I'm calling it it for now uh, we're just over 25 minutes we're at 26 and a half minutes and the smoke is billowing out of the machine I'm now getting a more pronounced coffee smell I'm not getting any horrible uh, like burnt smell it's, 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 a, it's a very pronounced dark fresh coffee smell and I think I may have overdone it a bit we've gone for the full dark roast by the looks of it because the oils have come out of the beans straight away I won't stick me big head in the way uh, so we're going to cool it down uh, let them sit for a while I guess uh, but these are lovely glossy black beans like the ones you see in the coffee shops I don't know if I can lift that Whoa, look at that. And the oils have come out. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, I now know what I need to do. 
Uh, next time I do uh, some coffee, I, I will reduce the time and possibly the temperature um, to see if we can get a better result. But then again, dark coffee, strong coffee, I do like it. Um, that is amazing. They went from like a, a light, a medium brown to a dark brown in in an instant. I can't believe it. But yeah, um, I'm gonna let this continue cooling now. Still quite hot. Still 174 degrees down from 230. And uh, we go back down the house and pour them into a bowl. I think. See you shortly. Right. So we're back in. Remember, that's what we started off with. That's what we've ended up with. And this is a small quantity that I've managed to uh, grind up into a kind of fine paste. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put the kettle on. Uh, I'm going to boil me some water. I'm going to see that there. Of course, I'll up the shed. And then uh, cap it here. And we'll be away. So, hopefully we've gone from green bean to roasted coffee bean to coffee in about half an hour. It might take longer to brew than a normal cup because it actually don't look too appetizing. Uh, well, we'll, we'll see. I've only put um, a teaspoon and a bit in, so I probably need a bit more. So I'm going to let that do its thing, and I'll be back shortly. It does appear that the coffee making uh, here is almost a failure, because uh, it takes, um, even though these have been roasted to the fullest, um, it still takes a couple of days for the oils to come out. Uh, and obviously not having a, a, a proper grinder for coffee, uh, normal proper coffee machine yet, uh, then I'm um, currently um, at a loss. So I'm going to try it anyway. It looks a bit like Luke uh, tea. Um, but I've I've seen some uh, conflicting statements saying that coffee can be at its best between four to twelve days from when it's roasted. So it's a matter of time. Just uh, letting it do its thing. Um, maybe I can uh, borrow someone's coffee machine, proper coffee machine, uh, to see if I can uh, get the full potential out of these beans. Um, I've got to find out whether I've got to stick these in the fridge now, I can't remember. But anyway, uh, that concludes today's video. I've managed to make a kind of weak, mediocre style coffee from uh, green beans. Uh, but. I may do some follow-up videos uh, later on if I do find a way that works. I'm expecting to get hopefully a coffee grinder for Christmas and a small coffee machine. So this, this is, um, this is all. All these beans are stock from a coffee shop. Um, they bought the coffee uh, uh, roasting machine so that they could roast coffee in shop, and uh, they were hoping to get the ambient smell. But obviously. I've just spoke the garage out and uh, <laughs> and uh, my clothes smell a bit now so <clears throat> it's not the best idea. Uh, I've been lent it to see if I can play with it and um, I've got to give it back. Um, I think it's because they don't want the beans back. They want the beans used up and then they can sell on the machine. And there's all my beans. So I've got seven kilos of beans which is one head of a lot of coffee. and. Um, I've just got to find a way to make it and use it now. <laughs> as it, as it's free, um, I'm going to use it. Um, and uh, th that concludes. <coughs> Can't speak now. My nose is running. Yeah, that concludes today's video. Um, and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.